fatherless because uh, based on uh, you know what you have been saying to uh, us today, you and your mother had a, a beautiful, close yes. relationship. Yes. And uh, the Lord is letting you know, even though you don't have your mother yet, you still have me. Yes. I'll embrace you. Yes. Sir. Thing that your mother did, I'll do it. That's right. So uh, in the process of it, we just um, appreciate uh, you really sharing uh, your heart with us today. I know in our next segment, we're going to be joined um, with a, another guest, uh, Elber Thompson. Thompson is going to be here with us. Uh, we're going to hear her story and how things transpired between uh, you and her. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our commercial break. And we'll be right back. Hardy's Floor Covering, a trusted name in Covington and the surrounding areas since 1985, has the latest trends and assistance in providing everything you're looking for in quality floor covering. Hardy's offers a full line of carpet, vinyl, hardwood, laminates, VCT, and area rugs with hundreds of remnants as well as rolls of carpet and vinyl in stock. Add value, charm, and style to your home or place of business. Hardy's offers free estimates, competitive pricing, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Choose the best. Choose Hardy's 2227 Emory Street in Covington. What is it that you need right now? Is it a peace of mind in these times of turmoil? Or do you need a minute to just unwind and regroup? Morgan Collectibles, Inspiration of the Heart, invites you to share in three dynamic books along with a new and unique line of greeting cards, awards, and encouragement to help you find that place. Available at all major bookstores or you may go to iUniverse.com or whatisyourstory.info to place your order. You may also send check or morning order to Morgan Collectibles P.O. Box 2026 Covington, Georgia 30015. Welcome back to What's Your Story. I'm your host, Kenneth L. Morgan. I'm excited about my guest today. My guest today is Anthony Smith. He's the author of Heaven's Bouquet. We're also joined at this time by Mrs. Thompson. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to allow Anthony an opportunity to go ahead and present her to us. And uh, we'll go farther in our segment. You know, as I was invited to... Um the Pink Power Banquet, and that was uh, for cancer survivors. And I was trying to not take any of those type of engagements anymore because usually I'm the guest speaker. People looking to me for the hope and the help, and, and you know we lo I lost it. I lost it. I really went into a, a understanding of having lost it. I had to rethink about what I was going through, and uh, everyone who the cancer survivors embraced. Uh, the vision of, of knowing that they can make it further. And so God allowed me to meet this amazing young lady, Miss Thompson, Miss Elba Thompson here. And, and as we began to talk and found out that she was an author also and found out that she had a foundation that, that I was willing to help her with. And, and, and so God brought the connection together. And as he brought her together, um, she was she was working with another publishing company and 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 as sometime God put people in your in your way so that you can cast a vision to them if they catch it they are able to run with it and, and that's what he did and so she started giving me some ideas about about the book and all that type of stuff and, and uh, I, I embraced it and she fussed at me a little bit but, <laughs> but I didn't, you know I kept going and, and so out of that was the newness of a new start. Mm -hmm. and, and so God gave us the ability to team up and work together and began to help people as, as a pastor. I, I'm here to help in any way possible, any type of families. And, and she shared her story with me of, of the, uh, the foundation of the domestic abuse that's on the rise in, in every case. And so God, God gave me um, some good help. And, mm -hmm. and so here we are. Here we okay. are. Okay. Well, Ms. Thompson, Welcome to the show. We're glad glad to have you. I know Anthony have basically given us a little information on you, but would you just go ahead and 
just um, let us um, be aware of actually what's going on with you as far as your foundation, uh, your your um, publication as far as uh, your owning your own publishing company. Just give us a little information. Sure, I am. Um, I'm going through um, a transition in my life uh, when I was married back then it was for a duration of 15 years where I was a, a domestic abuse victim wow. and um, I my only outlet besides prayer was writing and okay. as I was writing and journaling it started to I realized it started turning into a book okay. so <laughs> I am um, that was like I said it was my only outlet that was my therapy and I tried to you know as I realized it was going into a book I tried to pitch it to you know publishing companies and it, it was so hard, you hard. know, to get into like yeah. a traditional company. Right. And um, I decided to self-publish. Okay. And from there, I I did um, I started dealing with a a, a publishing company, and um, I was actually running that publishing company. But you know, some things um, takes a, a different road, and I decided to. It, it wasn't going as as far I was I would like. For my books to to go, okay. so I decided to start my own publishing company. Mm, go and ahead. Yeah, good, and when good. I when I I did, um, uh, uh, things started fluctuating from there to you know for a positive. Okay. And the more and more I started writing and and started advertising and and started receiving more uh, other authors, and I, I was kind of. You know, I was kind of iffy on doing that. It's like taking on a whole big responsibility, but right. I was ready. And I, I talked with um, Pastor uh, Anthony here, and, and he was saying, you know, you know, to go ahead and go for it. And, you know, you can you can do this. I mean, he was giving me great, um, you it know, was hard, great though. word. Because yeah. I used to tell us now, if you're doing this for somebody else, right, then why can't you do it for yourself? For yourself. And, yeah. and so, you know. I think through that, sometimes we have to embrace. I mean, we have to embrace the the help that God sends us. And I, mm -hmm. I mean, n now to even have Esquire Publications at this moment, you know, you've already reached a milestone that some people have not reached just by not having the right encouragement. So, um, yeah. and I, I share with all the time, you know, we can't be afraid to talk about the things that we've gone through because what we have, what we've gone through, helps other people. So, right, you know yeah. she she's amazing at what she does, you know. Anthony, um, you said something um, earlier in, in our segment about there's a book in 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 all of us, yes, sir. and there is there is a book in all of us, and Miss um, Thompson just said that that was her therapy. Yes, as she began to write, that was her therapy, and a lot of people need to know that uh, there are a lot of different ways that you can have a release. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be alcohol. It don't have to be drugs. Right. Right. You know, I mean, just through your writing gave you uh, a release yeah. because it began to uh, pretty much, I guess, feel the void mm -hmm. and the thing that was in your life. And I'm happy that, uh, you know, even though you um, self-published, I'm just uh, uh, happy that you went a step further yeah. because people need to realize as you begin to uh, publish, it's a dream, you know, say, oh, I, I got a book out, I got a book out. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden you start hitting these publishers and they like, oh, no, you, well, you're not this and you're not that. Right. You're no big name, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's hard to get in the door. And just the fact that uh, you was uh, encouraged through Pastor Smith mm -hmm. to go ahead and do your own publishing company, uh, it's, it's amazing within itself because you've helped take away so much of the struggle that you went through that other people will never have to go through. Yeah. Yeah. And see, that's what, uh, that's what uh, our visions are so important because a vision is not for us. Vision is for those that's around us right. that yeah. they can impart and see the vision. You know, the that's scripture right. says, write the vision that's right. and make it plain so he that readeth it can run with it. Mm -hmm. And you are actually a, a testimony of what you can do if you just listen, if you just allow somebody to right. reach out to encourage you mm -hmm. to motivate you you needed pastor smith yeah pastor smith needed you mm -hmm. but yet in the process we all need one another mm -hmm. and the lord will actually take and, and and bridge the gap because like i said uh i've always said um affiliation means everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know no man is an island you can't do this thing by yourself we all need one another and in the process of doing that not only is one person successful 
we all become successful. Exactly. And that's the goal in life, mm -hmm. is to make all of us successful. Mm -hmm. Now, if you will, uh, just give us a little bit more mm -hmm. about your uh, how uh, hard was it or how difficult it was to actually uh, start your own publishing company? Well, actually, it wasn't that hard because, like I said, I was working with another publishing company running theirs, okay. and so that's where you I gained a lot of my experience. You critiqued. It, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I knew what to do, what not to do. Okay, okay. So, um, starting um, Esquire Publications, it was really just, you know, Anthony and I. We mm -hmm. were the only two uh, on our website, we were the only two up there, and now okay. it's, you know, all glory be to God is now we got up to 15 you know authors and okay. with more still coming aboard okay. so I mean it's it's a wonderful it's, it's very I, I love it I love what I do and I love to encourage people to write I've, I'm getting um, more manuscript submissions okay. you know for and we publish anyone you know fiction nonfiction, poetry you know what whatever you have you know mm. I don't turn anyone away Okay. And I encourage people to continue to write and publish as many books as you would like. I, I want your voice to be heard. You know, put it in black and white because you never know who you can help. Right. You know. Uh, how many uh, books have you uh, actually actually published? How many have you actually written? At seven. I'm going on seven. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Books. Yeah. All my books are nonfiction, so I I like to write about what I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually have seven yes I do okay. I'm, I'm trying my hand now at fiction but you know I don't know how it's going to go but I'm going to try it anyway <laughs> okay um, you know uh, Ben all of us can share all of us are writers all of us are mm -hmm. authors uh, in the process um, like Pastor Smith said everybody has a book in them yeah and if you're going through something or if you're struggling with something and you can't seem to find a way out, all you need to do is just pick up a pen. Mm -hmm. Go go get a beer. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just just pick up a pen and just begin to write and you will actually be amazed at what what's actually in you. Because mm -hmm. there is something in you. And it's through your your, your trials and your tribulation mm -hmm. that really actually you actually really find yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's through what you go through or what you deal with in life to where you actually find Anthony, you actually find Miss Thompson, you actually find Kenny. But without those tribulations and trials, you know, you continue just uh, wavering mm -hmm. or trying to figure out who I am. So there is a reason why we go through what we go through. We may not understand it, but there is a reason why we face what we face. So we're going to go ahead at this time. We're going to go to a uh, commercial break and we will be right back. Hardy's Floor Covering, a trusted name in Covington and the surrounding areas since 1985, has the latest trends and assistance in providing everything you're looking for in quality floor covering. Hardy's offers a full line of carpet, vinyl, hardwood, laminates, VCT, and area rugs with hundreds of remnants as well as rolls of carpet and vinyl in stock. Add value, charm, and style to your home or place of business. Hardy's offers free estimates, competitive pricing, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Choose the best. Choose Hardy's 2227 Emory Street in Covington. What is it that you need right now? Is it a peace of mind in these times of turmoil? Or do you need a minute to just unwind and regroup? Morgan Collectibles, Inspiration of the Heart, invites you to share in three dynamic books along with a new and unique line of greeting cards, awards, and encouragement to help you find that place. Available at all major bookstores or you may go to iUniverse.com or whatisyourstory.info to place your order. You may also send check or morning order to Morgan Collectibles P.O. Box 2026 Covington, Georgia 30015. Welcome back to What's Your Story. I hope you're enjoying our show today. My guest is Anthony Smith and Alva. Thompson, we're so excited that they are here. We're going to allow her an opportunity to go ahead and just show us um, her material, uh, her books, 
uh, she brought some with her today that she has written. Yes, this is actually my first book that I was writing when I was going through. It's called A Mother's Cry. And this is, um, this is really about where everything started, where everything stemmed from um, going through domestic abuse um, for a very long period of time. And uh, um, this was my, my therapy. And I was telling you, yeah, Yeah. it was my outlet, my release. And um, this is my uh, follow-up to A Mother's Cry called Battered Secrets, Um, Men of Domestic Violence, where it's kind of swept under the rug where men are actually abused, (laughs) you know, and people don't don't really, you know, take it seriously or don't know about. (laughs) So I I kind of did a a big ad on uh, MySpace at the time and and, uh, asked for, you know, participants and and, uh, see if anyone wanted to share their stories. And the response was overwhelming where, you know, received, like, I mean, from men of, of ages from 17 years old to 60 years old, um, all backgrounds, um, all races, mm-hmm. and um, they agreed and they was gonna. They are in the book, and each um, bio is made up of a, a chapter of uh, each gentleman, and that's sharing their story with us, and they're from all over the United States. So, okay. And okay. this is um, this is actually uh, Esquire Publications, it's our little brochure, okay. and um. Uh, from the the uh, des- domestic abuse books is where we come. What Precious Hearts Foundation? Okay. Now this foundation um, is an aid for men, women, and children who are victims of domestic abuse. Um, right now we are in our baby stages of um, really taking the the bigger steps to where we want to go. Right now we is we have a vision, but we're going to. I I'm like um, I'm a. I'm at the point where you, you can't tell me no that it can't be done. I'm, I'm going to make sure that it gets done. I'm going to make sure that it happens. Okay. Um, right now, uh, the vision is to be able to build a facility uh, for uh, victims. Um, we're doing fundraisers. Uh, we're posted here in Florida and also in Georgia. Okay. And we're doing fundraisers you know, in both states right now to um, be able to purchase um, hotel vouchers for the victims because sometimes they're in a situation where they absolutely have to go right at that moment and they don't have a place to go. So these hotel vouchers will you know, be able to help them and then we'll be able to provide counseling for them. Um, the bigger dream is to be able to build a facility for them to okay. house them until you know, and then go through the, the counseling process and making sh- making sure everyone is is okay and being able to, you know, so they can grow mm-hmm. more and be able to uh, go back out on their own. Um, and we're also reaching out to the elderly and the uh, less fortunate, where we're trying to provide a Meals on Wheels type thing with the Angel Food Ministry, and being able to. Um, be an aid to help the homeless and less fortunate with, you know, food drive, a charity drive, you know, clothing drive. Just trying to stretch our hands to help everyone that we can. Okay. That's a, a broad vision. Yeah. And um, so if you will, would you just give us contact information for uh, Precious Heart Foundation along with Esquire Publications? And- sure, sure. And I would love for everyone go to www preciousheartsfoundation.org and please sign up and become a member and people don't do this but add your picture to your profile so you know just have a visual <laughs> and then um, for Esquire Publication is www.esquirepublications.com okay uh, Anthony if you would would you just go ahead and give us some contact information uh, for you please um, you can reach me at 678-458-8311 um, if you desire to have a copy of the book, or also, again, you can go to EsquirePublications.com and, and, and order it from there. And um, that's about it. We just thank, thank God for this opportunity. Here okay. What about uh, as far as book signing and engagements and everything? How will that need to be taken care of if somebody wanted to get either one of you to come out for book signings? Uh, would that be done through... Esquire yes, you, you can give a call one eight hundred five zero one seven six four zero. 501 You can also um, send an email at info at EsquirePublications.com. Okay. Well, I'm excited about our show today. I hope you have enjoyed this segment of our show, Pastor Anthony Smith. Thank you. Uh, publishing company, Ms. <laughs> Elva Thompson, uh, along with her book. So I'm, I, I'm just blessed and happy today that you will hear with us to share with our viewers. 
I just want to encourage our viewers just for uh, the few minutes that we have left to uh, to dream your dream, realize that there is nothing that you can't do. Uh, Pastor Smith uh, was in a position where he was able to encourage Miss Thompson, and out of that encouragement came a publishing company that came Precious Heart Foundations. Just think if the encouragement had not been there. So there is somebody that you can reach. There is somebody that you can touch. There is somebody that needs your words of encouragement to just say, hang in there. Everything is going to be all right. Uh, you have a dream that needs to be lived. And I want to encourage you to live the dream that have been placed on the inside of you. We want to just thank you for this opportunity for watching What's Your Story. I'm Kenneth Elmore.